So guys, we resumed from where we started last episode, and if you never watched last episode, please do. It's up there in the corner, you'll see it. Anyway, so we first started our city, and we've made all the rollouts, and now we're doing power. We're creating a power plant to go in our industrial area. And while we're at it, we might as well do some zoning. So for now, I'm going to zone everything in low density, and then start to get higher and higher as we go. So because we haven't unlocked any milestones, we're in Megalopolis, so then we don't need to unlock all of the different zoning types, we then have every single zoning type. I'm also going to hit in the center of the downtown and the residential areas with nice good old commercial buildings. Now these commercial buildings are not that big, they're actually quite small. Some of them can be like petrol stations and others can just be small offices. Let's own some more buildings and specifically industrial, we need some more workers. I'm also going to hit the city up with mixed use commercial and residential buildings. This is a medium density building so it will be quite tall and it isn't really that suited next to a house but that's all we can do for now. So let's get some low rent houses in. These are slightly higher than the medium density ones that we just placed. I really like this building that was generated here so I might keep it, it looks quite nice. I'm just scattering some parks around, you know, making the citizens quite happy where they are. Because I really want them to be happy, I don't want them to leave, and currently, it's not that good. <laughs> I also slightly forgot that the citizens need healthcare and police and fire because I forgot that I'm invincible but those citizens are not and I'm gonna turn on the day night cycle to see how it looks hopefully it looks good I usually turn it off just to stop the night but I really like the luck at the sunset checking my education status I quite need some elementary schools and a couple of high schools I don't really need any colleges except maybe later colleges are a little bit too advanced for these little people I'm just going to add a new estate here next to the port because our demand is really high and I just noticed that our tunnel is completely flooded. Uh, never mind.
Just look at all these cars zooming around our new Glen Grove. This looks very spectacular indeed. And I like how it's on the other side of the freeway, so you kind of have to use the freeway to get to this estate because I've noticed that not many cars have been used in this interchange I made, and I really want to see some cars on it. I'm also going to fill out the city centre with some row houses just to fill in the blank spaces and the bits with all the houses, and I don't think it matches, so. Hopefully that goes well. And you know what's kind of funny? As I'm reading this, I always use hopefully that goes well. And I think that's just weird of me for doing that. So it's autumn or fall and I'm just starting to add some more skyscrapers into the downtown. It really needs to be a downtown so it needs skyscrapers and I'm kind of liking the feeling of this area. Makes me feel cool. I'm not really that good at building cities though, just don't judge me. First, I didn't like the look of those two buildings being right next to each other. I liked the one, the tallest one, but not the smaller one next to it. So I'm just trying to make a semi-smallish building right next to it so it doesn't really look cluttered. Cause, and from far away, it looks like two buildings. And let's start working on the southern part of the river. So I haven't really thought into this area that much. So I'm just going to wing it and do what I can and make a good looking pattern of a grid. I should have done this last episode, but I didn't. Anyway, let's go. So back on the mainland in Garnet Springs, I kind of want to add a smallish suburb and fill out the area. It's right next to Emerson Gardens, so it's quite, you know, off the grid. I want to add like a sort of like business area, a business center. Is that how you say it? Like, you know what I mean? And it kind of has like small apartments everywhere. Let's see what we can do. So, cutting off from the river, I kind of want to make a huge lake right next to that area. And I want this to be like a centerpiece to our city, something that unites all of the suburbs together. Yeah, let's make it. And I've noticed that the water physics in City Skylands 2 is completely different to the water physics in CS1. And 
I might think that City Skylines 1 is better. You know, sometimes the water just doesn't move and it's all glitchy in City Skylines 2. But the only problem with City Skylines 1 water physics, it's so slow. But same as City Skylines 2, it's all the same, can't they just fix it? So, while we're waiting for the water to fill up in the lake, I've kind of sort of created a new district area which unites these four suburbs together and this new one that I'm zoning right now. I added a college and this looks really good and I hope that this gets kept very well maintained because it's not good if there's lots of rubbish all over the city. Well again, I'm invincible and I can do anything. <laughs> Now starting to smooth this lake off, I haven't cared to notice that it's turned winter and Beachburg has finally gone through its first winter. I figured out that, well I haven't figured this out, but the years in City Skylines 2 go so slowly. I guess that's more realistic, right? But then you have longer winters and you can't change the weather without mods, although that's coming quite soon. the industrial site I might as well add a landfill and a recycling center just to keep up the green clean work and also to make the place sink anyways I'm gonna add a transportation bus system throughout this new area that we're making and this will just connect up the four suburbs uniting them even more and maybe I can make a bus route going all the way to the lake even going around the lake that would be very nice oh and just thinking about it maybe like some nice mansions around that lake that would be like a dream paradise wouldn't it Okay, I'm looking at the city from a drone shot. It looks amazing. It's an early morning and this is looking great. There are nice old traffic everywhere. That's very nice, but not to the people. But still, I'm invincible and I don't care about those people. Unless I give them education, which I did. Anyway, this episode has been great. The part one, part two. I hope you saw them both. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.